Hello everyone, and welcome to our universe. Today we'll be answering the question, can moons have moons? But before I start this video, I just want to talk about one thing, Patreon. Now, Patreon is a website where basically people who do YouTube content, so things like education, creators, musicians, artists, things like that, can essentially accept donations for the work that they do. I've had some questions about this through my email from viewers in the past, and recently I've actually got my first Patreon. So if you are interested in donating to Astronomic, the link for my Patreon is in the description below. But don't feel obligated that you have to do this. So without any more delay, let's start the video. So in theory, a moon can have a moon. Basically, the region of space around a satellite, where a subsatellite can exist, is called a hill sphere. Outside the hill sphere, a subsatellite would be lost from its orbit around the satellite, and therefore orbiting the planet or the sun instead of the moon itself. An easy example of this one is the sun, earth, and moon system. Earth is a satellite of the sun, and the moon is a subsatellite of the earth. The Moon orbits the Earth because the Moon is about 380,000 kilometers from Earth. This is well within the hill sphere of the Earth, which has a radius of 1.5 million kilometers. A hill sphere basically defines as the space where the Earth's gravity is more important than the Sun's gravity to another object. If the Moon somehow ended up outside of the hill sphere of Earth, then the Moon would orbit around the Sun instead of the Earth just like all of the other planets, asteroids, and comets. For example, Jupiter's hill sphere is a lot larger than Earth's. This is because Jupiter is more massive than the Earth, and therefore has a stronger gravitational pull. But more importantly, it is further away from the Sun than the Earth. So therefore, the Sun's gravity is weaker at Jupiter than it is on planet Earth. This gives Jupiter a lot more of a gravitational influence. This is one reason why Jupiter seems to have a lot of moons. Not only has it got a big hill radius, it's also far out from the Sun to have its own gravitational dominance. So if we look at the Earth's moon, called the Moon, it could have a sub-satellite. If we look at the system of the Earth, Moon, and the new sub-satellite, the Moon has its own hill sphere, and it has a radius of 60,000 kilometers. This is where the subsatellite could exist. If an object lies outside of the hill sphere of the moon, it would therefore orbit the Earth instead of the moon. The only problem is that the subsatellite cannot stay in orbit around the moon because of tides. The moon is like almost all the moons in the solar system. They have a synchronous rotation, meaning that they have the same face to their planet at all times. This therefore results in tidal forces between the Earth and the Moon, and these are the same tidal forces that cause the high and low tides on the seas of Earth. So any object within the hill sphere of the Moon would have its orbit decay due to tides. So to put it in layman's terms, the distance between the subsatellite and the Moon would get smaller and smaller until the subsatellite would crash into the Moon or the tides of the moon would rip apart the subsatellite itself. But the mathematics do state that a moon can have a moon, as long as certain parameters are obeyed. So, I hope that's given you a great insight into can a moon have a moon. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you want to support the channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.